So here is Raycast. It's a Mac app that could be good for you as a writer. I think it is actually. Definitely has features that I, actually I would urge you to get through this or any other app that does the same kind of thing. And I even installed it for someone the other day. So you can see I'm going to enthuse about Raycast, yet I'm not going to keep it for myself. Oh, 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 oh. This is do as I say, not as I do, isn't it? That's embarrassing. There are reasons. Okay, short version, Raycast is really good at speeding up things on your Mac, like uh, just finding a document, searching online, opening an app. It's very good if you don't already have certain alternatives. I don't think it's yet good enough to replace those alternatives, though, if you do. Hello, I'm William Gallagher, and this is 58 Keys, which has ever, as for always, is for writers like you and me, who use and who write on Macs and iPhones and iPads. Uh, do subscribe because I mean, there's always so much to talk about, some of which I reasonably freely admit I'm likely to get pretty boring about, in fact, in fact, such as my total certainty that you, specifically you, need a clipboard manager for your Mac clipboard manager. Suddenly it sounds like someone's really dull job at a station or an art supply stuff. Anyway, it's more than that and you need it. Raycast, right? Uh, Raycast is actually, it's a great many things. It does a lot for you on your Mac, but one of the things it does is this thing about being a clipboard manager and it's an, it's an excellent one. It's an excellent one for free. Grab it, ju grab Raycast just for this feature. All the other clipboard managers I've tried cost money, and while actually it's true they're worth it, while actually it's true that they're, they're so worth it that you immediately know they are, you only immediately know they are once you've bought one and used it. Apple should put these things on every Mac, but since it doesn't, you and I need to set out and put it on every Mac we can. Can't say that and then not show you what it is. Let me very quickly show you. There's more to say about Raycast, but this is really, really good. Um, actually, also, there's a whole 58 keys about clipboard managers, but it doesn't mention Raycast because it didn't exist. Yeah, don't go watch that. Watch this instead. <clears throat> Here is a line from uh, the script to this edition of 58 keys. I'm a script writer. I write scripts. Uh, select that line, copy it. And now I think you know how this works. I can paste it anywhere I want. I can paste it everywhere that I want. Fine. Or now, next part, here's, here's this quite difficult word to spell, Bidebeck. And to be sure that I get it right, I select and copy Bidebeck, and now I can paste that. Yeah, but yeah, this is like a Sesame Street guide to 58 keys, isn't it? You know, I have, by copying Bidebeck, I've just overwritten that line of text. You know that I can't go back to that, that line of text that I copied before and paste it, not without going off and copying it again. In which case, if I did that, then I wouldn't be able to paste the word Bidebeck, except no. Look, nothing up my sleeves, wallop. Here's that line again. Here's a line from the script to this edition, the 58 keys. And here's how to spell Bidebeck. I can go back to what I copied a minute ago, an hour ago, yesterday, a week ago, and it is ridiculous how useful that is. Uh, one example, if you fill out forms online, well, write everything offline in pages or notes, anything you like, then copy each line, paste in the right bit in the right slot, and you're done. For, write, a pit, write one pitch for your novel, one log line for your script, and then just paste it in wherever it is you need to put it. Um, and I did that copying and pasting you just saw, by the way, specifically from the clipboard manager in Raycast. Um, I have a, I have one I use more. I've tried out several. Some of them are still accidentally still on my Mac. Some of them are actually in other apps that I use, but I don't use the clip. It just, I have a lot of clipboard managers. It's not like I set out to collect them. I specifically use the Raycast one. Okay, so Raycast, clipboard manager, really, really good. We could be done here. Raycast, it's great as a clipboard manager, so just off your pop, get Raycasts for its clipboard manager. But there is a lot, lot more to this app. Raycast is what's called a launcher 
you launch apps with it, you launch documents that then launch apps. And it's all done faster than pointing and clicking at your Mac stock or, or, or digging through folders. A tool to open apps, right, doesn't sound especially useful, not since, well, you can just open apps by like opening them, can't you? But if you have somehow gone through your entire life without wishing every hour for a launcher on your Mac, well, do this for me. Tap Command Spacebar and open Spotlight. It's there on your Mac unless you have taken positive steps to remove it. Command Space, then start to type an app's name. Just starting to type it is enough. Spotlight auto completes it, probably shows you that app first in its list of results. So there is hit return, the app launches. You're, okay, maybe it's not the very first thing, there could be something else, but it comes down a little list. So you tap the down arrow enough times, hit return, launched. If you've never done this, that was enough. You immediately saw how useful it is. If you already do it all the time, well, actually, you're so used to it, you do it without thinking. You have to physically stop to think, what are the buttons I press to do this? Spotlight, Apple's own launcher, becomes part of every Mac. It is on every Mac, but I mean, it becomes part of your use of it. Raycast is an alternative. Well, no, I was going to say alternative, but that's not really fair. It's not like you have to you know, ditch Spotlight to use Raycast. You can use them both, and there are reasons to. Open Raycast and you get this launching feature and you get the clipboard manager too. Uh, also, you can set up Raycast to give you fast access to the Max dictionary. Um, you can quickly add appointments to your calendar, search for notes. Actually, speaking of notes, Raycast has a thing you can create quick notes that kind of pop up for you to scribble something. Well, that would be the typing version of scribbling, but you know what I mean? And, and those ones will stay there until you say you don't. Them. You can create reminders as well. You can empty the trash, mute your Mac, though I'm not sure about that because there's a mute button, but you could. Uh, you could restart the Mac. Uh, you could turn the volume to 100% instantly instead of tap, 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 just straight to it. You can search Google from Raycast or DuckDuckGo, presumably from Bing if you really must. You can run, is that enough? Yeah. All of this from that little bar that appears on the screen when you type a keystroke such as command space bar or any combination of keys you want. All of that and it's free. What's not to like? Well, Raycast isn't Alfred. Not a sentence that can go by without some explanation, but this is the thing. I already have and I relish Alfred 5, which is another of these launcher things. And uh, it costs more than Raycast. Not, no, not 100% true. There is a free version of Alfred, but I, I so long ago paid, I think it was £34, about $42, somewhere around that, to upgrade to the full paid version of Alfred that I can actually no longer be sure what it is you get in just the free edition. It's weird how hard it is to figure out what the difference is between the free and the paid. But I also, I mean, there are features in the paid version that I wanted, but I also upgraded to that paid one because I was using Alfred so much every day that it's had to give the developer some cash for it, had to. Um, there is also, there's another one that's called Launch Bar, which I, I haven't used in many years, but it was remarkably good when I did. It's personal preference at this stage, Launch Bar or Alfred, I just ended up preferring Alfred. And okay, since I did prefer Alfred, and I am years into it, many, many times a day, well, obviously I'm now very familiar with Alfred, it would be hard to step away to something else. But actually, the truth is, even now, after all these years, I keep not putting in the time to learn everything that Alfred can do to me, that I know it can do for me, and I just, I'll get to it. Raycast, actually, it's something really strong about Raycast. It is really good at showing you how to use it, at teaching you how to use it. I, th I think they've made a first-class introductory lesson that it walks you through the first time you try using it. That's really well done. I just suppose, I mean, this is getting picky here, but it feels to me like Alfred takes fewer steps to get what I want. I mean, just now, for instance, just before we started talking, okay, I was launching Raycast a few times to try out different things, just remind myself what it could and couldn't do. And it, every time it would keep opening up to that clipboard manager section. And I had to remember I was there, then click an arrow to go back out to Raycast's main window, if you like, and then do what I want. It's not like it took a long time, but I had, 
it was a pause, a beat before I could remember. I would start typing, asking Raycasters, and then realize, no, it's not, this is a Cooper Manager bit. I have to go back. With Alfred, well, sure, there's a, there's a keystroke just as there is with Raycast. Uh, Shift Command C gets you just the clipboard manager. Or you open up Alfred and you start to type the word clipboard, well, then that's what you get in front of you. But if you don't want this, if you just want to search Google instead, for example, you just start typing Google. I think that just, I, I think that makes Alfred faster to use and faster even ignoring the fact that I've also got keyboard shortcuts that take me straight into different things that Alfred can do, such as this. I really like this. No matter what I'm doing, right, I can press command shift forward slash. Isn't it funny? You've got to think it when you're thinking about it. Your fingers just do it. Otherwise, command shift forward slash. I get Alfred's, th I get this, Alfred's text actions. Not 100% sure what I'd actually use that large type thing for, but that other one there, email to, oh, I use that a lot. Finish the day's writing on a script, right? Select that script document file and my notes document, my Omni Outliner notes document, tap that keystroke, and now I am emailing a backup copy of both documents to, well, in this case, myself. Um, I do that and then it does open mail and I could add further notes, things, but I don't have to. I don't have to launch mail, start a new message, fill out how it's going to, and then get the attachments and drag them in. And then more importantly, get distracted by the emails waiting for me. Just keystroke, keystroke, keystrokes, keystrokes, and it's done. And that's actually, that's part of Alfred out of the box. But Alfred also can do much more because it's got a large community already of people making extensions to it. I mean, I'm sure Raycast will do this. Raycast is adding things. It's not as wide open as Alfred, but it's coming. And in fact, actually, Alfred, I built an extension. As it happens, I'm a TV drama nut, so I'm routinely looking up TV episode guides. So now, rather than going opening Safari, going to a new tab, searching for epguides.com, so I want to use a lot, I do this. Command space, TV, space, name of the show, return. It's not flawless, but most of the time it works. Because I already for myself, I don't mind the flaws, I just kind of cope with it. 90% of the time it's deeply handy and I've found out what I want straight away. But that's Alfred and I'm not here to talk about Alfred, not this time. There's a whole 58 keys about Alfred 5. Let me say this then, if I did not have Alfred, uh, if I had also not already used LaunchBar, for example, I would be all in on Raycast, even if I don't understand the name. Um, so, okay, I urge you to get a clipboard manager. I suggest you try Raycast clipboard manager. And I think it's highly possible that you may stick with Raycast for all these other things as well. In fact, actually, clipboard manager, wait a second, let me paste back in that line from earlier. Here's a line from the script to this edition of 58 Keys. There you go. How long have we been talking? And it's straight back where I want it. There you go. That's it for this edition of 58 Keys. Now, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself. Write more. Copy and paste. More. You're right. That sounds like plagiarism. Write more. And I'll see you soon.